Hello everyone. I wanted to do a quick video today for Spokane Silver Stacker, some auction pickups. So yeah, let's get started. We got a Merry Christmas round here. And I got this for like 40 cents over spot as for a melter. And I thought he said something about a date on it and looking around on it and yeah, and Santa's bag there. 1985 so yeah now I'm gonna toss up about a melter but that's probably what that'll end up being and these are in no particular order hopefully they're sort of in an order and this one I got and I was kind of halfway paying attention I heard state refining I was thinking Western state refining and I hadn't researched it much so I bid on this one thinking it was something else, but still very cool. It was still on my list. It's got a little bit of, I don't know if you'd call that milk spot right there. It's got some rolling around in their drawer going on, but very cool. And... Picked up one of the USA, US SA office, 1981, strategic silver. And this is a pretty darn nice one here. So I've been wanting one of these for a while. And one came up. So I jumped on that. And then he said, oh, I've got another one. This one's got a little bit more going on. Some shiny along the high edges of the wings. But still very nice. A little bit of toning going on there. So I've been wanting one of those for a while. So I got one and a backup. Two is one. And let's see. We'll save those two. So we'll go with the old Sunshine Mining, 1984. I've been wanting to put a set of these together. And this one's nice and clean. So I was happy to add that to the pile. And this was not all in one auction, by the way. So I'm a little... out of where I thought I was for remembering all of it and this one's got a little bit more going on it's kind of got a it's not really coming off on video very well but on the flats it almost looks clean see how they're splotchy and not like a really a cartwheel and maybe a little bit of I don't know it's interesting and I thought hey it's an 83, and I need one, so picked it up. It looks pretty good. If you turn it just right, though, you get that milk spot on this edge. But it's still an 83. I still needed one. It's still very nice. So, 83 and an 84. And years ago, I had one of the Northwest Territorial Mints, one of these, and the one I had had all kinds of toning going on. It had like a rain, like a bullseye kind of a pattern. And it's probably the one piece of silver I re that I ever regretted maybe getting rid of. But this one here has got some blue going on. It's hard to see on camera without getting the glare, but this top edge, we got some blue going on right up in this corner. It's got some purpley. Got some purple going on. So yeah, I was super happy to pick this up. Being I live about right there. And I think the one of these I had, 
I picked up years ago. It was probably when these were brand new. 87. Where'd the date go? Yeah, 87. So, nice toner. I'm digging this one. And I don't remember if he said he pulled this out of his collection. Or if it didn't sell, it was going into his collection. But that's not happening anymore. That's into my collection. Sorry, Spokane. <laughs> and then the Western State Refinery. This was the one I had an eye on. Man, it's got a little bit of, I wouldn't even call them bag marks. These are brand new capsules. So whatever's on it's on the climb. Just, I don't know. Not even really scratches. I mean, look at the super high gloss. I thought, oh, that's cool. Nice and simple. Not much going on. This little flamey looking thing here. Kind of has that natural gas thing going on. And then I flipped it over. Oh, face reveal. And look at this. It is so high relief. It's set in. The, looks like a stainless dog bowl. It is way dished in there. Super happy with that. I mean, this front wing. It's way set in there to the, compared to the back wing. And these ones. See if I can get some of that relief showing there. On allanglehard.com, they show these as under 1,000 minutes. So, yeah, I was super happy to get that. So, overall, some great pickups. I think this was over three auctions, maybe. So, yeah, if you guys are ever looking for anything, I don't know what kind of little wormhole he lives in, but... As far as the vintage stuff, he comes up with some of the best stuff just from his local coin stores so, or coin shops. So anyway, I'll leave a link to him in, in the description. Thanks everybody for watching. And yeah, be sure to check him out. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.